How much spit does the average human produce in a lifetime? Is it A, enough to fill over 500 bathtubs, B, enough to flush a toilet with, or C, just enough to pour over your cereal at breakfast? The answer is A, enough to fill over 500 bathtubs. That's nearly 40,000 litres of spit. We'll never hold back in showing you gross stuff. So prepare your eyes for blood-sucking gross stuff. This is Investigation Ouch. This is a leech, and it's a type of worm. Whereas we only have one brain, a leech has 32. And while we have 32 teeth, a leech has 125. Their main diet is blood. And in fact, right now, I'm providing lunch for this one. Whilst it's on my arm, it's going to eat five times its own body weight in my blood. That's the equivalent of meeting a small cow, hooves and horns and everything. It's not just greedy, it's disgusting. But these wrigglers can actually save human lives, all by sucking our blood. To get drinking, this leech has bitten me, and now its saliva is working its way into my veins, releasing a chemical which will thin my blood, preventing it from clotting. And it's this ability to get our blood flowing that surgeons use in modern medicine. So let's say you chop off the end of your finger. A surgeon can attach the finger, but if blood clots have formed inside the bit of dead finger, new blood can't get in and it will fall off. What doctors can now do is attach a leech to the tip of the finger, and the same chemicals that allow my blood to flow into the leech on my arm dissolve the clots and allow fresh blood to enter the reattached finger. There's no fancy machine or drug that can do this job as successfully as a leech. And with such an important medical role, leeches are bred on a massive scale. So while this one has a good feed on me, let's go and meet some more. This is Carl Peters Bond. He's a leech breeding king and is currently housing 30,000 of these wrigglers. How do they breed? Well, the leeches are a male and female, so they can fertilise themselves. Sort of boys on one section, a girls on the other, and then they sort of breed together. So when two leeches mate, they both get pregnant, which is pretty extraordinary. And wait till you meet their babies. This is a leech nest. When the leeches lay their eggs, it looks just like white form, and then it settles down to a sort of a sponge. So this is made by the leeches, and you can just see the clear space at the top, and then the leeches have settled to the bottom. I'm just going to cut the lid off. It is full of wriggling leeches. This is like the world's worst Easter egg, isn't it? Yeah. That's so fascinating, I'm completely distracted from how disgusting it is. And I'm completely distracted with the fact I've still got this enormous leech feeding off my arm. What's going to happen when he's full? Uh, well, it's just going to drop off and then the hole it makes will just keep oozing blood for 10 hours. 10 hours? Great, no one told me that. That would have been nice to know. Well, after an hour and a half on my arm, it's finally full, and you can see how it's got the blood in my arm flowing. This is the point. If you've cut your finger off, if the surgeon's reattached the finger, it's the chemicals that are now making me bleed that allow new blood vessels and new blood to flow into the reattached finger. They may be greedy, they may be frankly disgusting, but it is that that means they are the most amazing healers. And you can see how much it's grown. It really is five times bigger. I got quite attached to that, literally. 